A positive mental attitude does not allow you to accomplish everything that you want to do, but it does allow you to do everything that you do better. Hi, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and inspire. I'd like to encourage you to join Eli and me as we discuss, of course, a positive mental attitude. And I will be giving you a blueprint so you can go from point A to point B to point C, so that by the time this video is over, you will know how to give yourself a positive mental attitude. So join us. I'm going to start by sharing with you something that I saw at a seminar some 30 years ago by a gentleman named Zig Ziglar. I strongly recommend that you look him up on YouTube and you take a look at some of his things. They're outstanding. However, he, Mr. Ziglar came out without any introduction and this is how he started. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the woman that I met that has the most positive mental attitude that I've ever seen. Here is the story. One day, I was at the airport waiting for a plane that was delayed, and I'm standing in line with other people, and there's a gentleman next to me, and this woman, who's about 10 or 15 feet away, is staring noticeably directly at the gentleman standing right next to me. He notices that she's staring, that she's staring at him, and he starts to get a little uncomfortable. So he kind of looks away, and he shifts his feet, and then he looks up, and she's staring at him again. And he looks away, and then he looks up, and she's walking over to him. And she says, I'm sorry, sir. You may have noticed that I was staring at you. And he says, as a matter of fact, ma'am, I did notice that you were staring at me, and I was wondering, do you know me? And the woman said, well, yes and no. And he said, how's that, ma'am? And she said, well, you remind me a great deal of my third husband. And the man said to her, how many husbands have you had? And the woman said, two. Mr. Ziegler points out that this is the most positive woman that he's ever met. All right, so let's talk about a positive mental attitude. Now, what do most people do when they wake up in the morning? First thing they do is they go and they check their devices. They'll check to see if the weather is nice, if the weather's not good, oh boy, what an awful day it's gonna be. Or they'll check this, their Facebook account or their whatever social network of, is their favorite of cho their choosing. And they'll see if Freddie's had a good day, if Joey has a problem, if you know, if Mary achieves something outstanding. And you start your day in a reactionary mode. May I ask you a common sense question, Eli? Who should be the one determining your attitude each and every day? Now let me point this out to you. Just as people that go to their devices every day and allow whatever's on there to affect their attitude, when you take charge of your attitude yourself, that's something that you have to do every day. You're developing a ritual, you're developing a habit. Your habits become you. So make sure that you have good habits. Let's talk about how the formula for developing a positive mental attitude. Now, one of the things that guys learn when they get married is that their wives usually need just a little bit more time to get prepared in the morning than they need. And I'm referring, of course, to the application of cosmetics. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only male on the planet that's heard the phrase, Honey, I just need a couple more minutes to put on my face. Now, doesn't common sense dictate that if we're going to spruce up our appearance on the outside, that we should also take a couple of minutes and prepare the inside? Now, here's the way 
that you should apply your wake up makeup. Now the first thing you should do when you wake up is to think about all of the reasons that you're thankful. Allow me to help you with that. Now usually when I first realize I'm awake, my physical condition is very, very comfortable. Comfortably warm under those covers. Thank you for this feeling of comfort. Thank you for Eli, my son. Thank you for my job. Thank you for the fact that they pay me for my job. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my health insurance. Thank you for my sense of taste, sight, smell, hearing, and touch. Thank you for my immune system that magically keeps me healthy and heals me. Thank you for the ocean where I love to snorkel. Now, are you only grateful for electricity after it's been turned on after a power outage? Thank you for electricity. Thank you for snow-capped mountains. Thank you for the taste of freshly squeezed orange juice with pulp. Now, I could continue with many, many more thank yous. In fact, many of my thank yous are personal, as I'm sure most of yours are going to be. Don't forget to say thank you if something nice happened to your friend, your spouse, your child, your boss, and yes, even the mother-in-law. But before you reach down to grab your slippers, you should have at least 20 sincere thank yous in your bank. And the key word here is sincere. I don't want to hear that you can't think, Eli, of 20 different things that you're grateful for, that you're not grateful for each morning. Grat your gratitude should be limitless. Now, the last and the most important thank you of all is your affirmation. What's your affirmation? Your affirmation is that one single goal, that one objective, that one burning desire that you have. Get your mind focused on it immediately. See it in its completed form. Thank you for achieving my, and then state your affirmation right here. Visualize the end result of that goal. Feel the happiness that you've already achieved it and be grateful. Gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. And when you finally do make it to the mirror, you give yourself a smile, a sincere smile because you just achieved your goal. Now, sometimes people need to practice being sincere and I'm not joking about that. You gotta smile with your eyes. Your smile is part of your makeup. And there's not a simpler or more direct way to express yourself than your smile. When you see people and you smile with your eyes, tell, that tells them, I'm happy to see you. Make sure that that message is sent and received. The shortest distance between two people is a smile. Now you're gonna smile and say thank you many, many times during the day. You, you're going to feel good and other people's, people are going to feel good when they see you. People will come up to you and they'll ask you about your day. Give them the positive response that you're expecting, that they're expecting to receive from you. Because to them, you're a positive oasis in the negative desert of people. And then ask them about their day and smile, laugh, and encourage with them. And you and they will both feel much better and continuously make an effort to say thank you all day as often as you can. And one more thing, always remember to say good morning. The only way that a person can properly respond to that is to echo. You and they will both be off to a great start. Good morning. Now, because we never end our meetings on a philosophical note, please take this Positive Mental Attitude Blueprint 101 and charge! I'm Eli's dad.